Hello everybody, this video for ABF, Association for Vertical Farming in Germany, Christy and today I would like to speak about growing saffron indoors as you can see, this system it doesn't need to hydroponic system to the uh, related to aeroponic, hydroponic, aquaponic just without soil, without vermiculite, without the hydroponic related to the bed the wooden boxes, the shelves and at the beginning of the starting constructing a unit of the growing saffron indoors the wooden boxes the dimension of the wooden boxes you can consider for example is uh, the 60 to 100 centimeters but the suitable dimension of the wooden boxes is the 40 by 60 centimeters why we should choose this dimension because we should easily the move it you know and the, the time of the harvesting, we need to move is the wooden boxes, but it's a little heavy, you know, but it's, it's hard. And in these wooden boxes, you can keep around uh, eight kilogram of the bulbs, eight kilogram of bulbs. But it's 40 by uh, 60 centimeters, 40 by 100 centimeters. As you can see, the wooden boxes dimension as the height is four centimeters. If you are going to the keep the bulbs after harvesting, it is better you you should have the coherent surface after harvesting the bulb. You can add uh, the mix of the vermiculite and soil to the wooden boxes, and you should consider the height of the wooden boxes uh, 30 centimeters or 20 centimeters, and the best height and the best depth for cultivation of the wooden boxes during one year. We can have the wooden boxes in the greenhouse and in the, we do not need to outside if you have access to the outside you can after harvesting you can after harvesting the flowers you can transplant to the soil if you do not have access to the soil you can keep the bulbs in the wooden boxes in your greenhouse as you can see this is the greenhouse for growing saffron indoors and after harvesting uh, you can the vermiculite to 30 centimeters and what is the S story the S story is very simple two shelves the distance between two shelves is uh, 50 centimeters for heart and the shelves for example this is the four uh, this is 100 square meters for 100 square meters you need to around 6,000 kilogram of bulbs 5,000 kilogram of bulbs six tons of bulbs for 100 square meters you need to shelf uh, there are numerous questions about what is the cost of the, the equipment is different countries is different the shelves for example in iran is for 100 square meters is three thousand dollars i don't know in pakistan in india and the other country but in the you need to for 100 square meters 1000 kilograms of iron for shelves two row of shelves two row of shelves the distance between two row of shelves is one meter the distance if i'm going to try to begin it faster the distance between two shelves to the wall is 80 centimeters also is the same and the distance between this wall in the wooden you know the distance between the shelves and the wall is 80 centimeters the distance between two shelves is 50 centimeters. The distance between two row of shelves is one meter. And in the wooden boxes, the vertical farming classified system is, and each, for example, is the dimension 40 by 100 centimeters. You can keep around six or seven kilograms of the bulb, between five to seven kilograms of the bulb of saffron. That is very so important for this room is the air handling unit as you can see this is the air handling unit suitable for you should provide the temperature and humidity via this is the air handling unit the warm air cold air exactly enter from this part circular part this is the air handling unit and also it's for regulating and carbon dioxide in the first phase in the summer you purchase the bulbs in summer after purchasing the bulbs for example this is a summer and 
For example, this box. This is exactly in my hand. For example, this is a model. It is very simple. As you can see, exactly this distance that you can see. One. Respectively, the size of the bot is very important. After purchasing, you will see the extra layer. You should separate the extra layer. You know, but exactly in my hand that you can see eg is wrong for example there are the fungal diseases penetrate to the bulbs and we have uh, the disease or disorder you should for example this this is the ill okay you should throughout okay throughout not with the fungal diseases we should for example disinfectant uh, with the fungal, for example, fungicide, pesticide, throughout, okay? And you should only, you should choose before the wooden boxes, sword, okay? For example, is the ill, throughout. And during, there is very important, for, for example, during the separating the extra layer, you should, for example, you shouldn't separate this layer. You should keep one layer, okay? For example, this is correct, false. You know, all, this, all the surface of the ball, we should have one layer, but this is separated. It's wrong because fungal diseases easily penetrate to the ball, okay? And after purchasing the ball, after purchasing the ball, the ball, the humidity of the bulb very high. You should in the spread in the one surface after drying during 24 hours. We should disinfectant with the fungicide cuponate methyl. After disinfect disinfection with the uh, fungicide and pesticide propargin and cuponate methyl, the bulb completely ready to the putting of the wooden boxes in the summer at the end of summer. It's time uh, July, uh, August, September. And after purchasing one month, 25 centigrade without light and the humidity 70%, carbon dioxide 3000 ppm. And at the beginning of the October, in the, at the beginning of the autumn or October, you need to, the, the air handling unit should be work. Plastic dot, plastic dot connected to the aeration channel, connected to the circular part and in the hole, in the, under the plastic dot with the distance between two holes is 50 centimeters 50 centimeters and the one this machine connected to the chiller in the warm region like india pakistan south of china in the region is that we do not have the cold winter you should provide the chiller connected in the cold region like denmark norway and the canada we need to Boiler, boiler connected to the air handling unit and provide for us the warm air. And in the summer or warm region like India, we need to chiller. Chiller provide a cold water and cold water connected to the coil. And this air handling unit give us the suitable cold air. You know, the range of them temperature in growing saffron indoors is very clear. Summer, 25 centigrade at the beginning of the October, 7, 20 centigrade. Before, uh, at the end of the October, we need to, two days, to, uh, 48 hours, the cold, shocking, during 10 centigrade, during two days. After this, the teach or sprout reach to 10 centimeters. After that, uh, we should keep the temperature 17 centigrade. This time, exactly the flowers will be appeared during Two weeks during 14 days, you harvest. 
during the night and day, we should keep the temperature 17 centigrade. 17 centigrade carbon dioxide 800 ppm with full of light over 1500 lux and the air into a kind of aeration channel so, uh, continually should be moved that is 800 uh, carbon dioxide 800 ppm temperature 17 centigrade and the full of light over 1500 lux you will see this is the story is very simple you will see the flowers at the summer the bulbs this time in the uh, September at the end of September the bulbs are asleep two weeks later also the bulbs are asleep we do not need to any the fresh air or the light but one month later in October we need to full of oxygen full of light and the temperature 70 centigrade and the story finished we, we will see the flowers the mechanism in this air handling unit very simple. In the summer, in the summer, this uh, square uh, part should be completely open. In the summer, completely open. When it's open, the, we, we have another uh, unit at the behind of this machine that is completely closed. This works, this works at the opposite of the behind this unit. Okay? In the summer, it's completely open and during flowering, during autumn. The time we need to 17 centigrade, we need to 800 ppm. This part should be completely closed. Okay? When it's completely closed, this part at the outside is completely open. Therefore, full of oxygen enter to the machine and enter from plastic duct. Therefore, we will have the full of oxygen, it means equal with 800 ppm therefore your flowers need to oxygen after that you will see the flowers per 1000 kilogram of bulbs 1000 kilogram of bulbs gives you around one kilogram or one and a half kilogram dry saffron 1000 kilogram of the bulbs gives you around one kilogram dry saffron and Good luck. Thank you.